Hello and welcome to Trends and Friends. Thanks so much for joining us. I'm Terry Furman. And I'm Emily Falkenberg. Well, it is the first day back at work for a lot of people after the Christmas holiday. I know I was pretty slow moving yeah, I was to too today. today. <laughs> well, how, you know, how was your Christmas holiday, speaking of it? Christmas was great. My yeah. daughter is now engaged. Yes. Very excited for them. They have a long engagement. Mm -hmm. So yes. how about you? I mean, you really can't. I, hard to follow that. I mean, absolutely exciting for your daughter. But really, ours was very low key. We stayed oh, at home. Nice. Um, you know, we had family that we weren't able to spend time with. Uh, so hopefully we'll get to spend time with them in a couple of weeks. But really, overall, it was a really good holiday. It was, and the weather mm -hmm. was crazy, Emily. Oh my goodness, you're telling me that Friday night, Christmas Eve, wind was so bad. We got a little bit of a break from it Christmas Day, but yesterday it came back howling outside. It really did. Yeah. But let's talk about what's coming up on this show today. With Christmas being over, the South Plains Mall mm -hmm. has some new hours we're going to talk about. We're also getting the details on the Caprock Classic Basketball Tournament. Yeah, that's always exciting. Plus, Sugaristas Cookies and Fire on the Water and Bubba's 33 all going to have a a lot of exciting yeah, stuff going on. Gonna be hungry today. I'm, I'm yeah, I know I'm, I'm already hungry. Yeah. <laughs> but first, Emily, let's get a check of our weather today. Yeah, you know, if you go ahead and take a look outside right now, we've had a little bit of some cloud cover. Even some folks have seen some sprinkles, a little bit of showers here and there. Nothing that's even given us any trace or measurable rainfall, unfortunately. Uh, but just, you know, enough to get the dirt off of your windshield possibly. If you take a look outside though, current temperatures right now, we are sitting at 61 degrees with the winds nice and calm for the most part out of the south southeast at about eight miles per hour across the region. We're still seeing some 70s off the cap rock, but 50s is uh, the name of the game in the eastern portion of New Mexico. And as we head into the rest of the day and tonight, temperatures are going to start to fall tonight and could still see some isolated showers heading into to the rest of the evening. I've got more details in your full forecast coming up tonight at 6. Terry. All right, thanks so much, Emily. Joining me now is Gary Johnson. You're with Ambox, but you guys put on the largest basketball tournament there is, the Caprock Classic. What year is it for this one? It's the 62nd annual, which Carol Flight started 62 years ago. Unfortunately, we didn't have a tournament last year, so yeah. Kicking back into this year, we're ready to rip. For sure. Now, let's talk about, this is the largest tournament. Talk to me about how many teams you typically see come out for this. Generally, we'll see 80 in the 80s, maybe low 90s. But this year, schools were calling us to get into the tournament. Great. In fact, we had too many small school boys teams, but we're making it work. Of course you are. You guys always do. Now, talk about how many games we're going to have and where all these games are going to be held. We're playing at eight different locations, but some of these locations like Lubbock Cooper, Monterey, they have two gyms that we'll use to make sure that teams get their guaranteed four games. Oh, that'll be good. That's smart. That's smart. And you said it was going to be eight different schools that are hosting this year. The four in Lubbock. Monterey, Coronado, Estacado, and Lubbock High, and then we're using Friendship, Lubbock Cooper, Lubbock Christian, and Trinity. Wow, that's just a lot of different places to have to be at one time. But talk to me, why is this, why is this put on? What does it benefit? Well, 62 years ago, they decided it was a good idea, but they only had like eight teams, so it wasn't like a big deal. But over the, over the years, we've decided to not only split the schools from a large division to, and a small division to give more opportunities to give right. trophies out. And we support four different things, one of which is scholarships for people, students who play in the tournament. And that's under review after the season or after the tournament's over. We provide physical and occupational therapy students to Texas Tech primarily. Good. We have a ramp project for people who need wheelchair ramp accessibility to their houses. Just imagine if you couldn't get out of your house sometimes when it's snowing or icy, you get stir crazy anyway. And finally, we have the Amtrike, which is a ubiquitous type of trike that allows more of a therapeutic type because who doesn't like to ride a bicycle or a tricycle with their brothers and sisters? And that's true. And, you know, everybody of all abilities should be able to do the same things. Exactly. Super important there. Now, when does this kick off, Gary? Wednesday 
at 9 a.m. Okay. in these eight different locations. Okay. And we've been preparing for this for probably since last year. We lucked out in a way, or at least I did as the director, in that we had no tournament last year due to illness. Right. And so when the University Interscholastic League said no people in the gyms, about December 1st, we shut it down. So I've learned a whole lot from the 2nd of December until especially today right. with not only teams, but the logistics, the supplies that we need to have. Very good. I love this. Now, where can everybody find a lot of information on the tournament itself, where the games are going to be held? I know you've got it all together someplace. We do. The website is caprockclassic.com. It's all two words mashed together, okay. www.caprockclassic. The 2021 link at the top gets you to all of the games okay. and the matchups. And then these particular brackets will be updated after games. Wonderful. So we can keep up with what's going on and find out, you know, who's in the running for the top seeds. Exactly. All right, Gary, thank you so much, and we wish you guys the best of luck with the tournament. Again, that starts on Wednesday, and you can get all of your information at caprockclassic.com.